And while fashion and trends are super important, so is great hair. We're gonna head over to Salon Lofts with Melody Larissa, and she's gonna show us some of the cool updos that she actually did on my hair. Hola Columbus, my name's Melody Larissa, and welcome back to my loft. Me and Keisha were just talking about what our plans are for this weekend. She has a hot date with her man, and I'm keeping it low-key with a few friends. What's great is that this next upstyle I'm about to show you guys is perfect for either occasion. Now I know when you hear updos or upstyles, you think prom, wedding, something really fancy. But what's great is that you can wear this with a nice pretty dress, or you can keep it casual with a t-shirt and some jeans. I can't wait to show you guys, so let's get started. So I'm only gonna be using a few products to do this style, one of them being my Nevo Lived-In Powder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through and just sprinkle a little bit of this on the base. So now I'm gonna go ahead and tease her base. So I'm just gonna be taking small sections, just a couple of them, because again, we want some nice body and a really nice base for this updo. So two sections, that's good enough. You can see the nice base. So now I'm gonna be adding a braid right here just to the front, just because it adds a nice little texture to this upstyle. And I'm just gonna be doing a three strand. Now you're more than welcome if you know how to do a fishtail or if you know how to do a five strand braid to do that. And remember when you're um, doing a braid, braid it backwards, braid it towards the back of the head because that's where the braid's gonna be laying. So if you do it in the front, you're gonna get a really weird bump. So just doing a three strand braid all the way back. And then I'm just gonna take it and just kind of smush it to make it just a little bit bigger because it's gonna add some awesome texture to the hair. So now I'm gonna get to the fun part of this updo, sewing it in. So what you're gonna need is a bodkin and a piece of thread. And if you don't have a bodkin, you could use a bobby pin, it works just as well. So what I've already done is I've taken out a few pieces around the face that I want to be left out just to give it some nice softness around her gorgeous face. And then I'm just gonna start with the back. So right now what I'm doing is I'm taking my bodkin and thread and making an anchoring point in the hair. So what I'm doing is I'm putting it all the way through the end, putting the bodkin through the hole that's at the end of my thread, and then pressing up to again make an anchoring point. Now from here, I'm just gonna let the thread do its thing, and I'm just gonna start sewing the hair up at different sections. As our last last eyes pierce the room, letting our inner beauty shine through as our eyes. go ahead and finish off by just doing some curls in front, just some really nice loose curls, just kind of touching them up and just placing them. Again, what's really nice about this updo is that it's just very organic, handmade, and tousled, and just adding these few curls around the face gives it exactly that look. So now I'm just gonna finish Keisha off with a little bit of my Super Shape hairspray. So what do you think, Keisha? I think I'm ready for my date. Perfect. Thank you guys so much for being here with me today. And remember, you can contact me at salonlofts.com or on Facebook. And remember, take some time for yourself, stay beautiful. Until next time, I'll see you right here at Ola TV. Hey.